for today. So starting off with uh, EURUSD as normal, um, not really a trade here at the moment, uh, pretty much the same scenario as yesterday. Uh, we're on the weekly chart right now and you can see this area of resistance that we're in right now. We need to clear this area, come back and test it before we start looking at longs again. So uh, the upper side of this level is uh, 118172. If we get down to the 8 hour, you'll see we had a bit of a rejection where we've cleared the level, but then we had a rejection higher up. We've come back. We haven't actually bounced off the level. I would have expected us to bounce off this area of 117503, but we actually fell a lot further than that. We have got a pin bar off the level, so that does give me some confidence. The problem with this setup for me at the moment is the entry would be on the break there, um, that is a thousand pip uh, risk at the moment. So, thousand pip risk right at a major level. It's not a it's not a very decent trade setup for me at the moment. So, um, we come down to the hour. You know, the micro trend here on the hour is down at the moment. Obviously, we're going to need to start breaking through some fractional levels here. So, this is the first one that we're at at the moment. So, what I would Com what I would look at uh, during the European Open is a break above 117.711 and a retest of this area, which puts us above the moving average. I'd want to see the moving average start pointing up, then look for an opportunity to buy in this area with a stop just below 117.503. But it's not, of all the Forex pairs at the moment, that's probably not the one that I'd want to be trading today. Um, not that there is much, to be honest. Um, if we move on to Euro, Euro Aussie dollar. So Euro Aussie dollar yesterday, I just want to get rid of some of this noise. This is pretty much still from yesterday. We had a triangle breakout, but it's not very, it's not very smooth, if I can put it that way. Uh, in my view at the moment, it is basically turning into a potential channel or a potential wedge. Okay, again, we're at a fairly major area of resistance. You can see swing low here, some off there, some off here. So we are in a fairly strong area of resistance. So I think um, you'd be fooled to think that it's going to be moving to the upside. So uh, within the triangle, it was a bit messy. It's still continuing to be messy. So I think. The safest bet to do right now is get rid of that idea, okay? And uh, this is one to stay out of at the moment. So, you know, yesterday we were looking for the triangle break and retest, which has happened. You know, if you are in this, I'd really move your stop pretty close. It doesn't fool me with much confidence right now. That's what I was assuming. I mean, that's, that's messy, to say the least. Okay, so let's move on. New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen. Uh, this one, we are forming a little bit of a, uh, a triangle as well here. Uh, let's get this here. So this is a, a bigger triangle though. So there's the downside trend line. There's the upside trend line. We are going sideways. We're rejecting a moving average. We've got a lot of resistance to that. Lots of sideways motion. Uh, yesterday, uh, yesterday we were basically looking for some kind of rejections one way or another, and that hasn't happened. We've just basically formed a, a stronger triangle as such, and there it is there. Okay, so that's also another one which I'm not really keen on trading. So what we do need to see, though, is we need to see a break of this triangle one way or another. Now, because of the time that, uh, so this is from 23rd of July all the way through to now, I mean, that's quite a long time that we have this trend line. Um, the bottom trend line is also pretty strong from 29th of July to today. So we're going to need to break out of this triangle. So the safest bet to do is put your level in. That is the most logical one. You can see there. Look to the left, we've broke below it, we've up, we're bouncing off it. If we come back into this area and start getting some bullish price action, it may be worth 
an attempt to get through to a higher time frame. And I'm looking for, sorry, not higher time frame, a break through this trend line and then a higher target here of 7070. Doesn't really fool me with much confidence, but it's worth watching. Uh, if we do get below this level, then I'd want to see a retest of it. But that would break this downside trend line, which would then give us some, a short opportunity. But at the moment, it's sideways, not what really, you don't want to jump in on that at the moment. Okay, Canadian dollar, Swiss franc. Uh, this one, the trend is down. You can see the trend is clearly to the downside. Uh, we have come up to this major area of resistance here. Okay, you can see rejection there, rejection there. And uh, we've rejected it with a fairly decent bar. We've got a, a red inside bar and we're forming another inside bar below the moving average at the moment on the eight hour. So that is an indication that we have a potential for a move to the downside. On the hour, smaller trend is up, agreed. We have that scenario there. Look at this pin bar here off the level. So during a normal training session, uh, so a normal trading session, during Europe or USA session, um, I would be on in on this short. Okay, high time frame, the trend is down. We've retraced up. This is a retracement. So basically what we're looking for now is either another retest and rejection of 068836 or alternatively a break and a retest of 068525. And that would get me short. So that is a fairly decent um, opportunity of the three we've looked at at the moment. Canadian dollar, Swiss franc is the one that I'd be looking at for a short. Okay. And that's exactly what my plan is for today. Um, new one at the moment is pound Japanese yen. So we've had, uh, just looking at the weekly chart, we had Brexit noise back here in 2015. And since then, it's been sideways to downward motion pretty much all the time. What we have forming here the, on the weekly is a triangle. And this triangle looks like it has broken. Okay. So you can see there it is there. We've had a move above it this week already, which is basically just yesterday. So this is something worth watching at the moment. If we come down to the eight hour, okay, uh, trend line on the eight hours, obviously not going to line up. So let's just make it line up. Get that. Now sometimes your your broker has uh, different charting patterns that or different charting software. It doesn't always work out exactly anyway, um, which is a, my case at the moment. So that is a triangle break on the eight hour. So what I'm looking for is a retest of a level. Now we do have a bit of a pin bar to zoom in here. We've got a pin bar here. Wasn't quite off a level, sort of in the middle of nowhere. I would have liked to have seen it pretty much coming back to test this area here of 137366. Uh, uh, nevertheless, it is a pin bar. It does indicate some bullish price action. And if you look at the one hour, you'll see we have what looks like some structure to forming. So we had this move up. We've pulled back, probably a pullback onto a Fibonacci level. Yep, 61.8, there it is. So now what we'd want to be doing is looking for opportunities. Here is your first opportunity here. So a retest of 138.370. So in other words, come back, bullish price action off here for a move to the upside. That's going to give you a entry somewhere around there. And you can probably just move your stop below this swing low here which is a good 400 points um, which is reasonably enough I think that's a decent uh, stop loss and this could be a longer term long that is brewing okay there aren't any 
if you look on the eight hour here, um, this was the level that we've broken through. So we have cleared that level. Okay, so where is the next level? This is not a level. Okay, we need to look further left. The next level is going to be up here. Okay, so that would be my target area. So the target area for this long is going to be 149.41. Okay, but this does look like a pretty major trend reversal that is brewing. Um, it has kind of verified on the 8th hour. You can see breakthrough, the moving average, pullback, and then we're starting to use a moving average as support. So it has kind of worked out on the daily. Uh, the weekly has not swung yet. So you're still waiting for some kind of a pullback on the weekly and then a move to the upside. But um, ultimately, being a triangle, uh, break, I suppose I'm being stupid, eh? because the ultimate goal, sorry, I'm just being a bit stupid here, um, it is a triangle. We don't have a trend into the triangle. So what you're looking for is the height of the triangle. So pretty much if I move that up there, that's kind of your target area, which does make sense if you look to the left. So your actual target area is 147380 on the weekly chart. Okay. We need to get through, look at this area of uh, resistance that we'll be heading into. So I wouldn't try and break through there that is your target that's the opportunity that you have okay so that's a long-winded view of japanese yen uh, pound japanese yen and i'm definitely looking to get in on this today we'll have to see what transpires i'm looking for the pullback onto structure you're gonna have to find your structure and that is my closest bit of structure that we have at the moment which is 13838 okay so anticipate a retest of these two, one of these two highs here, a pullback onto structure, bullish price action, something like that. Okay, and then opportunity to get in on this one. Right, anyway guys, that's it for me today. Not much happening um, in my view anyway of uh, what I'd like to trade. So uh, the only real one that I'm looking at is pound yen and then Canadian dollars was Frank is uh, a close second. Not really interested in the other three. Um, was looking at them on Monday, but based on what I see now, there's nothing there right now. Hope it helps, and we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.